Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio. Today we're going to continue learning about quality checks, specifically take a picture checks. Take a picture checks are super useful because they allow employees to attach a picture of the product being inspected. This picture can then be reviewed by a quality team member. This video will only detail how to process take a picture checks, specifically the method for processing them on an order inside of the backend. For a full overview of creating quality checks, along with the other ways to process them, make sure you watch the general quality checks tutorial video. But enough of that, enough chit chat, let's get right into it. For this tutorial, we're gonna be processing a take a picture check that was created automatically by a quality control point or a QCP for my acronym lovers. Now let's take a quick look at how that QCP is configured, but for a full overview of QCPs in general, be sure to check out our video on quality control points. Now to see the QCP, I'm actually gonna jump into the quality application, select quality control up at the top and control points. And which one do we want to go with? Uh, we're going to do assembled picture bedside table. Perfect. Now the products field that we have over here, again, it lists our bedside table product. Well, the operations field that we have down below basically tells us the manufacturing operation. This means the QCP creates a quality check for bedside table manufacturing orders. In the type field that we actually have over here, it says take a picture. In the instructions tab at the bottom, over here is a message we have, take a picture of the assembled bedside table. And that's a message on how to perform a check. In this case, they need to take a picture of it. If you watched our tutorial video on QCPs, you might notice that the message of failure tab is missing. This is because take a picture checks are automatically passed upon being validated. Don't worry though, a quality employee can fail the check later on during the review. And that's if necessary. So I'm gonna show you how that's done right now in just a second. All right, let's take a look at how to process a check created by this QCP. So to do so, I'm actually gonna go inside of the manufacturing application and select operations and manufacturing orders. I'm gonna select the bedside table that I made today. Now, since the QCP created a quality check for this MO automatically, a purple quality checks button again appears up at the top over here in the center. I'm gonna click on that purple quality checks and a pop-up window where I can actually process the check has appeared. Inside of this pop-up window, I can see the instructions, which happen to be take a picture of the assembled bedside table. And that's what I need to complete this. Below that, there's a big icon of a camera that I have over here. And this is where the picture will appear after we've attached it. At the bottom left of this picture is the edit button right there, which looks like a little pencil icon. If I click on the pencil icon, I'm allowed to browse for the file where it's at so that I can attach it over here. And then you should be able to see it popping up right there. I've taken a very professional, not fake looking picture of our bedside table ahead of time. And once that I've attached this here, I'm going to validate this right there. And the check is completed. Now let's pretend that we're the quality employee assigned to review this very legitimate photo. So to do so, I'm actually going to head out of here, back to the main dashboard. And this time we're going to head into our quality application. And then we need to navigate to quality control in the top header. And we're going to select quality checks on this page. I'm going to select the most recent check that we have just to make sure this bedside table right there. Now on this page, it shows me the picture that was attached by the manufacturing employee. Looks very legitimate. Above the top right corner of the check is a stage indicator that we have over here that lets us know where it's in and it's in the past stage. If everything in the picture looks good, I can just leave the check as is. However, I notice if I notice any issues, actually, I can actually fail the check by selecting the fail button up here in the top left corner. Doing so moves this over to the failed stage, as you just saw. If I need to create a quality alert, I can also do so by clicking on the create alert button over there at the top left. And that, my dear doers, is everything you need to know about take a picture checks. Make sure to tune back in for even more tutorials about the ever awesome quality application. I'll see you soon. Grab a snack. I'm eating a lot of chips lately. Sponsor me.